Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. So um, I've actually got a couple of unboxing videos to do today. Um, so I shall try and upload them in quick succession. But the first one I'm going to be talking about is Globin. So Globin is a um, subscription box that I've been um, enjoying uh, for a few months now, about six months. And um, effectively what it is, it's a box that comes from the United States and um, it's full of sort of items from developing countries and it's a really unique box um i always i have always enjoyed the contents of them so far and um you know i foresee um getting this box for a little while if you want to know what that noise is that's my cat getting into the box <laughs> the outer box that the um the one i'm going to show you um came in so this might be a quite um long video simply because i actually got um you got like you get a subscription box every month, and but you can also choose add-ons. So I've chosen an add-on box this month too, and um, also um, something a little bit extra which isn't in the box at all, which is this. Um, so um, basically, this is what they call a keep cup. I've been looking uh, for one for a little while now. Um, this is yeah, and I. I live in a fairly cold climate. Um, I live in Berlin in Germany and it's very chilly this time of year. So um, it's been quite good to like sort of go to work with um, you know, a cup of coffee and stuff and take it to work. And obviously you can go to Starbucks and ask them to fill, the, fill your coffee, um, um, get them to put the coffee in this mug rather than the cardboard or, or, or whatever, disposable cups. Um, and it is a fairly um, big drive at the moment um, in order to sort of like reduce our race in the environment, particularly plastics, as it turns out. But um, yeah, I've been I've been looking for um, something like this for a while. So this will be going to work with me. I'm just testing it out now um, to see how it how it how it's how it works. And it feels really nice in the hands, and I like the fact you've got this sort of like rubber um, ring here, so you can hold it really well, and you've got like a a drinking hole here and it's all no and the screw screw top is actually quite solid so yeah so all in all i'm quite pleased the construction of this cup um i think it costs about ten dollars something like that i can't remember but anyway it wasn't like the most expensive thing in the world um although there are some cheaper options out there i think but i really like this cup there are if you have a look at the globe on the website they have um, a number of different um Colour, uh, colour themes to go with this um, um, keep cup but anyway so that's just like a little add-on um, on top of the two boxes that I've got so the first one I've got um, is this one here cozy um, this is what I kind of I, I chose this one as my add-on because um, it looked um, a lot of fun and if you choose a second box as an add-on you do get um, a little bit of money off so you could do get a um, a, um, a slight reduction. Um, I'm a little bit jet lagged at the moment. I've just come back from a holiday in Jamaica, which would probably explain my rather disheveled appearance as well. Um, so uh, you'll have to excuse me if I can't remember everything. But I think in the States, the subscription box is $35 a month. Um, I'm a overseas subscriber of course so I pay quite a bit in postage but if you um, get um, add-ons you don't pay any extra for the postage and as I said to you before you get discounts on um, second boxes and stuff like that so I can't quite remember how much I paid for this box in the end but it was it, it was less than the other one so um, so um, I really like the sound of this box um, particularly it is um, fairly chilly in Berlin at the moment um, so um, yeah, I, I thought I'd, I'd give it a go. So first thing I'm going to show you, so um, is this here, which is a, I think it's a market, if you pronounce it correctly, maybe I haven't, but anyway, it's a fair trade scarf, and it's from Thailand. I really like that, so I'm just going to open it up, because I haven't done so yet, it looks like a really warm cozy scarf. Um, I shall enjoy wearing this very soon. It's it's actually not as cold in Berlin as it usually is this time of year, so it's um, just above freezing. 
but that doesn't mean that it won't come back to bite at a later date. But anyway, this is a, a really nice, it feels really warm. Um, so um, I think it's a cotton scarf, from what I understand. I think it's made from cotton, yeah. Hand, hand dyed and woven, 100% cotton. And as I said to you, it's from Thailand. One of the things that I really like about um, the subscription box is that it always gives you this leaflet and it tells you more about the people who make the products um, so you understand where it comes from. And it's really, really interesting. And there's usually like a nice little story to go with the, uh, you know, the person who's actually uh, made your product. So that's the first one. So I really like that. First one, this second item is this, it's chocolate, and this is Divine Chocolate Cocoa Powder. Um, I've actually bought this cocoa um, um, powder in shops before, so I happen to know it's really nice. And this is from Ghana, um, so uh, obviously it's time of year, in Berlin at least, um, hot chocolate's um, a must well, for me anyway. So um, yeah, so I should look forward to trying that. I think you just serve it with milk. Um, yeah, I think it's the usual sort of chocolate, but it's fair trade chocolate, so um, I look forward to sampling that. Third thing is another one of these. Um, I say another one because I've got one of these already. It's a mug from Tunisia. Um, I think you get these in, in, in a lot of the um, boxes, different patterns, of course. It's the second one I've got to say. It's a really nice pattern to it. So, um, I think it's basically sort of hand blown. Uh, yeah, um, I think it's sort of hand blown and also painted by hand as well. And apparently, it says your mug skillf skillfully painted lines evoke the air of peace, prosperity, and teamwork embodied by the modern Tunisians. Um, I really like the, these mugs. They're nice and big. They feel really nice. And they're an unusual design that you wouldn't necessarily get in shops. So um, I like that. And the last thing for this particular box is another one of these, a palm leaf mark basket from Morocco. I have three of these now. This is just um, a picture of the person I think who made this month's um, offering. Yeah, so it gives you information about um, the maker of the, of the leaf um, basket. I really like these, um, they're very handy to put stuff in and if at some point you find that you've got too many of them you can also use them to like give gifts to people for birthday and Christmas and stuff and they can keep stuff in it as well, um, I just really like them. I think it's the prettiest one I've had so far, so that's a cosy box for you, uh, it's a box that um, I was looking forward to getting, they um, are going to enjoy the contents last thing here by the way is a um an, a, a recipe for a simple creamy and surprisingly healthy hot cocoa at the end which i guess you use this for um so i will i shall try that so that's the cozy box box i'm going to show you now is um i think this month's actual surprise box so I, um, I have done surprise boxes before and other times I've chosen the box that I really fancy, but I thought I'd try the surprise one this month. Surprise one is um, called Tea Time. So, um, I'll just give you, um, so you, it always comes in like a box like this. And actually um, it's a fairly fast delivery um, when you consider how far it comes, it usually comes pretty quickly. Hang on. So I'm usually quite impressed by how quickly it comes, considering it comes from overseas. So. And also, if I'm not here, because I wasn't here, because I was in Jamaica at the time, um, they 
the DMHL guy, he um, they, they leave it at sort of a lock-up place rather than sort of dump it in the sorting office. And lock-up place just down the road, so it's really easy to go and collect the parcel myself. So, um, so I'm quite pleased with the whole sort of setup in terms of delivery. Um, although of course I do pay quite a lot for it. But anyway, so I really like tea because um, I'm British and that's what we like basically. <laughs> Um, and um, so um, you know, when, when I saw this box and when I saw the other people getting this box this month, I was looking forward to it. So, let's see what I can... So the first thing I'm going to do is show you this thing from India. And it is a hand stamp tea towel. So let me see if I can Apparently um, it's done by a very talented young man who's 25 and has known techniques of block printing since a young age. Um, and basically his fam he and his family have learned Block printing as a way to provide a better life for themselves and is proud to practice a traditional source of income. Here it is. Very pretty. It's, it's a nice cotton tea towel with this very cute um, patterning just in the middle at the bottom there. Um, and I will, I will use it as a tea towel. Um, I really, I really like it. So that's going to be a very useful um, item. So that's cool. I haven't opened this box in the same way as I had the other one. So let's have a look. The second thing I'm going to show you is some organic tea. This is jasmine green tea. Uh, and it says green tea scented with your jasmine flowers. Um, I like green tea, but I've not had jasmine green tea before, I don't think. Uh, it does have caffeine in it for people who are interested. Uh, and it's from Sri Lanka. So, I don't know if I can open it. I think it's... Um, let's have a look. I'm not entirely sure what to expect. I see it's from different ah, so it's different it's just little sachets like this. It's a green tea scented with your jasmine blossoms, it says in there. Uh, so it's it's the the tea bags. That's what they are, the tea bags. Cool. And uh oh let's say how many are in there. Um, anyway, so tea bags from Sri Lanka. So, the next thing I'll show you is this, which is really cute. I'm um, going to get a couple, bit of rustling going on here because there's a fair amount of bubble wrap. See how well they wrap these. Um, there's, there's, um, quite often some definitely some breakable items in these um, boxes so it's good that they've um, what I should have done Right, so um, I took a short break there in order to break open the packages. Um, and I'm going to show you this, which is a Berber tea cup and saucer um, from Morocco. And there it is. That is very pretty. I really like that. So you can see the patterning. And um, the patterning. 
tightening with a saucer as well to go with it. That's so cute. Definitely um, look forward to using that. So the last thing I want to show you. So basically, um, I think they're I'm just going to have a look. Um, yeah, it tells you that the workshops for these particular cups and saucers um, pay rather good wages, definitely above minimum minimum levels, provides health care and pension plans and guarantees safe working conditions for the people who work there. That's very important. One of the things I um, noticed when I was out in Jamaica actually is how easy it is for people, poor people, to be exploited in their workplace. And um, and I saw evidence of this all the time, you know, because if you're dirt poor um, and you just need that little bit of income to be able to feed your family, then you quite often are desperate, particularly if it's a country that doesn't have the sort of um, infrastructure and workers' rights and stuff like that that you would get, that you would get in the in the rest of the world, for example. So um, yeah, I'm always pleased um, when I learn that actually not not everybody's being treated as badly as perhaps you'd expect in some developing world countries. And, uh, and this is one of the reasons I really like this box is that I know that it's helping people from developing countries to you know to get decent wage to um, sell their um, their skills and their crafts. Um, for a fair wage so they can improve their lives because it can be tough in some of these countries. So, the last thing I'm going to show you is probably my favourite thing in this box and probably one of my favourite things in any of my boxes so far. And it's this, it is a rosewood tea box and it's from India. And it's really, really nice. I haven't opened it yet, obviously because I've just taken the wrap off. Let's see if I open it. There you go. And we've got compartments inside. So really, it seems like a really solidly made tea box. And it's just really nice. You just sort of put like an assortment of your favourite teas in there. And um, yeah, so that's it. And I think in the back of this we have a recipe for German apple cake. Uh, and it's, um, I think, from the, one of the um, Globin's Ma Mavins group. So basically, that's just like a Facebook group for people who take out these boxes. So um, perhaps I should try that. German apple cake. You should definitely that, try that. So there you go. So um, apologies that um, this, um, this video is probably a bit longer than usual. But um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know um, if you try Globin and uh, what you think of the boxes and whether you enjoy the products. And um, I'll be back soon with another unboxing video. Thank you and bye for now.